I feel like the Apple TV is one of those undervalued and underappreciated products that really doesn't get talked about and it doesn't get the love that it deserves. It does so many things from being your central hub for your smart home, being able to FaceTime, it's your content consumption machine, transforms any TV into a smart TV, and I feel like every year it just gets better and better. And with tvOS 26, it does just that. And there's a bunch of new features that I wanted to go over for those people that are like me that love using their Apple TV as their main almost ecosystem hub for their Apple ecosystem. But without further ado, let's talk all things tvOS 26. Let's get into it. But now, before we continue, if you enjoy videos like this one where we talk all things Apple products and reviews and software updates, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. But now let's talk about compatibility first. So in terms of tvOS 26 compatibility, technically it can be installed on an Apple TV 2015 or newer, but to get the real overhaul and the redesign to liquid glass, you need to be on an Apple TV 4K of a second generation or newer. So now that we have compatibility out of the way, let's jump into the liquid glass design. Well, all right, everyone, here we have the brand new tvOS 26, and you can see how the liquid glassiness design already begins to take over here in the main menu. And a great way to see what this looks like is if we go into the new control center. The control center does take over very similarly, if not exactly the same, as iOS and iPadOS 26 and macOS, of course. You have the translucent design. You can see that when you look behind it, it kind of blurs out the content that's behind it, which is great to see. And if you go somewhere to like the Apple TV app, you get the same exact idea over here on the left-hand side. So you can see that the menu on the left-hand side does start to blur out the stuff behind it, while still keeping some of the essence of the content behind it itself. So overall, I think the liquid glass design is an amazing thing to have. It's something different, something relatively new, something that we haven't seen before when it comes to tvOS, and it's a nice little change up. And you can also see it here in the main menu or in the settings menu of what that looks like. And if you go into my about section, you can see exactly which version I'm on, which is gonna be tvOS 26.0, and there you see the build number. But now in terms of what's new aside from the actual look, the first thing you're gonna notice is if we go into the actual TV app itself, again, here you can see the gorgeous liquid glassiness of it all, but you can see that the actual kind of thumbnail or featured image is actually much bigger and takes over the entire screen, making it a lot easier to see. And then also over here, you have the ability to customize your sidebars. So if I go down to the channels and apps, you can actually pin some of these if you want to. So for instance, if I wanna pin Disney Plus, I long press on here and then press the pin button and then it'll be pinned. So no matter what, it'll always stay in that position versus here, if I go on Paramount, lock this in, pin that one, it'll also pin it to the main menu. And you can see that it did move up right there, making it easier to identify and easier to use. So overall, just some nice quality of life updates. And if I, again, if I wanna unpin it, you just long press, I'll press unpin, it'll move the Disney Plus out of the way, and then if I wanna actually hide something, I can hide the actual application too by hiding it, so then it'll disappear if I do hide it, and then if you play something from the app, it will reappear, as it says on the top right-hand corner, in its all liquid glassiness glory. So now Apple actually did add a brand new application to tvOS 26, which has to be the new Sing application. And I think this is an awesome new app that kind of brings the family together, something to do when you are using this as a main hub in your living room, and it's exactly what it sounds like. It is a built-in karaoke machine that's based off of Apple Music on your Apple TV. So you can go and kind of scroll through this. This is basically an extension of Apple Music or iTunes, whatever you want to call it now these days, to see what's out there. So if you go to the new section, maybe you want to use the new Swag 2 album by Justin Bieber, and this is just a regular album. But if I go in here, maybe tap on a new song, you can see that you have all your different options on the bottom right-hand corner. And what the beautiful thing about this is, is if I grab my controller, go down here, press this little plus button. If you do have an iPhone that is connected to your Wi-Fi and under the same Apple ID, a little pop-up will show up, or you can just scan the QR code, which we'll do right now. It opens up this quick little app clip application situation. We're gonna start singing. Hold it just like you would a mic and you'll hear the voice play on your TV, which is very cool. So it'll play out loud technically if I just hold it over here. So I just flick the microphone on and what's cool is if I start singing, it'll actually play through the speakers on the TV, which is something that I didn't know that I wanted, but it actually works off really, really well. I'm gonna turn this off due to copyright, but you get the idea here. So another new feature here is going to be get notified of incoming calls. So your Apple TV can show you who's calling on your iPhone and let you put them on the call on hold until you can answer. And you can always manage this from your iPhone settings. I'm gonna leave it as not now because I don't like my phone calls coming into my TV, but it is a new feature of continuity when it comes to the new tvOS 26. And now the next one I do wanna bring up is more so of a customization with screen savers and things of that nature. So Apple added some new ones on here. So if we go into our settings, go into screen saver, go to current selection. 
you can see that Ariel's is a brand new screensaver setup. So of course you still have your memories and your portraits and even Snoopy, which is nice. And you can see that even with the portraits, it does that thing where it hides the clock behind the sand. But if we're on Ariel's right here, this is going to be the new view when it comes to screensavers and wallpapers. And if you go down here into Ariel's, you can then go choose Ariel's, which if you want to, to kind of preview some of them, which are great to see. So you can choose whichever ones you want. Some of them are hidden, some of them aren't. And I do like just how nice they are. I'm definitely a big landscape guy overall. Just kind of see what that looks like because, you know, we're in a city environment and we never get to see that. And you can also change the download frequency to daily, never, monthly, or weekly. And the next one's gonna have to do with AirPlay. One of the big reasons why I decided to get an Apple TV and not just another random smart TV is because of the audio situation and being able to output to other AirPlay devices. Now we've been able to do this for a long time, but now if we go into our settings, you can actually make these your default speakers. So if you go into your settings, we'll go back to where it says audio and video, then you can go to your audio output and then you can choose your default audio output. So you can do your receiver speakers, your living room, AirPlay, whatever the case may be. I'm actually hardwired in with my Sonos Arc 2, which is using HDMI, which is using eARC and things like that. So I'm good when it comes to actually defaulting out to the Sonos Arc. But maybe if you are using some HomePods or HomePod minis, or maybe another AirPlay device, you can now make that your default very easy. And then the last little tidbit is that Apple TV now supports PS5 DualSense controllers, which they didn't in the past. You could connect some other controllers like Xbox and maybe even PS4 controllers, but now it supports the PS5 controllers, which is great to see. But that is all the updates that came to tvOS 26. Let's finish up the video. But that will just about do for this video, everybody. As you saw, there wasn't anything revolutionary that came out that's going to really wow you, but there were a couple of quality of life updates that just makes it a lot nicer to own when you have an Apple TV now running tvOS 26. Again, you got the liquid glass redesign, you got that new karaoke feature, the new profile feature, some new settings features as well that makes it a lot easier to connect your speakers. So overall, I think it's a welcome update and something that makes it feel a little bit different and a little bit more modern and of course matches the entire Apple ecosystem. But that'll do for this video. Let me know in the comment down below if you updated to this. If you own an Apple TV, would you go out and buy a brand new Apple TV to be able to use tvOS 26? Always curious to know what your guys' thoughts are, but that'll do it for this video, everybody. If you made it to the end, leave a little dolphin. And if you want to watch more videos like this, click on one of these videos right here. Until next time, peace.